Hi guys, today I would like to read the first paragraph, just the first paragraph, like, I'll do good to get through the first paragraph without screwing up anything, let alone going too far into the book, because it's been suggested, why don't you read a whole bunch of, no, 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 I'm not a good, I'm not a good reader, but I will tell you, loyalty above all, there are no exceptions, I don't know if that's going to be backwards when I show you, but I think you get the idea it's part of the Hernandez series you do not have to read the whole series to understand it I can't say that enough um, a lot of people are like oh my god I have to go back. no you'll read this I'm pretty sure you'll catch on right away you won't be like what the hell's going on I mean you might but I don't think so so without rambling anymore which I'm very good at I'm gonna read the first paragraph now the first paragraph really gives you an the essence of what's behind the book. There's a, several themes, I would think, but uh, minor themes, but one of the major themes, of course, is the fact that uh, George Hernandez is starting his own little indie news station. Not station, I should say website, website, because uh, there's a lot of that these days, and sometimes um, people trust that news more than they trust the news on television but anyways without going on about that I could talk about that all day so when you watch the news do you ever wonder if it's the truth how do so many networks have such vastly different takes in the same event why is that the stark serious journalists with concern in their eyes do you ever wonder if they investigate the stories they tell or are they merely reading from monitor what do you think do you ever watch the commercials during the break and feel overwhelmed? Do you need to talk to your doctor about this new medication? Now that would probably be more American channels, which I've noticed that all I ever see is like medical stuff advertised, medicines, like pills, different you know, during their news, during everything actually, not just their news, everything American. Canada, I don't think that's allowed, but they still, there's still some, some stuff like that. It's, there's, um, a lot of these companies own more than just medication. They have other, anyways, I'm not going to get into all that. Back to what I was saying, back to the news and more misery. Politicians are lying, war is blazing, murder and fear. The cycle never stops. Then the hour ends with an irrelevant yet heartwarming story about a puppy or a baby so viewers aren't completely depressed. Have you ever turned off the news and felt good? Is there a heaviness that weighs down your soul and makes you feel hopeless, especially these days? Have you ever, have you been informed? You naively think so until you witness something that makes you realize how things are hyped up or watered down and sometimes completely ignored. So then we jump right into story. I actually read more in the first paragraph, so I kind of lied to you, but that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna stop right there. I'm just gonna stop right there. The reason why is because then I get into the story and what's going on. And the point is, is that um, one of the central themes, as I said, is they are starting this indie news channel. George Hernandez is kind of going against the established news, like he went against Big Pharma, still going against them. He kind of goes against the grain. He kind of rebels. And he's a bit of a thorn in the side of these different areas. And right now it's the news that he's going against. And he always kind of did that a little bit, but this book, he takes it up a, a, a notch. He takes it up a notch. And um, before he used to do documentaries and that kind of thing and finance them. Now he's getting a little more into the day-to-day -day activities, which, you know, he's going to ruffle some feathers. He likes doing that. Loyalty above all. There are no exceptions. Go to Amazon, read the first chapter, see what you think. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.